All right, what's up, guys? My name is Timekeeper. This is the uh, the main video for my upload schedule. I'm sorry that it's coming very late, but uh, I needed to kind of go over things uh, with how I'm going to do this video. But today, I'm going to be teaching you guys all about sustains. So let's go. Now let me throw it down. So just to kind of lay the land here, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys four different sustains that I know and that I use personally. First, I'm going to show you the Alien Sustain, and then I'm going to show you the Wook Sustain. I'm going to show you a Background Base Sustain, and I'm going to show you an Aggressive Sustain that's used in like modern dubstep, like quarter note stuff and excision stuff, and to an extent sometimes Virtual Riot. So this is a little Alien Sustain that I made here. Pretty cool. With the frequency shifter, so you can just turn it off. And uh, the real magic is here in Serum. So what I did is uh, I have a sine wave FMing to a saw wave with the octaves up by four, and I have a ring mod filter that if I just turn this knob, I kind of start getting that sort of alien sustain sound. And for effects, I just have Hyper, Distortion, and uh, Compressor. Uh, if I want to try, I've never actually tried uh, modulating two ring mods together. So let's see what happens if I do that. Sounds kind of cool if you want to kind of go more into the uh, aggressive sustain uh, territory. And if you want some modulation, you can either modulate it in Serum, or you can throw just a simple uh, auto pan onto the uh, onto the base here, and then just kind of do like a nice little. Kind of do like a nice little like fluttery effect. I never actually tried setting this to ring mod. So yeah, that's the uh, the alien sustain. You hear this a lot in like alien park songs, uh, the experimental bass stuff as well to an extent. Sometimes you hear it in house as well. I've heard this same sustain in house songs before. So, uh, yeah, that's the alien sustain. I'm definitely going to save this preset because it's actually pretty cool. All right, let's 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 move on to the next one. Okay, so this one I'm going to make from scratch because it's relatively easy. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a background bass sustain. So pretty much what purpose this sustain uh, serves is... Um, Say you make a track and you're missing like low end or something to kind of fill in or your track sounds thin or something like that. This is a sustain to kind of fill in the gaps and stuff like that. So typically how I make the sustain in some of my songs is I just have a, uh, a square wave going to a saw wave. Now I know that's going to make it sound aggressive, but stick with me here. We're going to make it sound like a background sustain. So let's do some FM for B. And let's create our LFO into sustain mode. So that sounds pretty good already. We don't need to do anything with that. Uh, let's have a filter. A high notch. Typically that sounds good. Let's throw a little bit of bend minus. Just so we get a little bit of grittiness. Uh, what we're also going to do is turn on the white noise. Not too intense, though. So typically that sounds good already. If I were to turn the... So typically if I turn this up to about maybe like 109 hertz, um... It starts to get sort of that background texture. 
And there's also different ways to make these background bases as well. This is not the only way. There's so many ways to make background bases like this. Hell, you could even FM to the noise oscillator if you so please. Maybe that's not such a good idea, but in certain cases that does work. Uh, let's add just a little bit of distortion. Because if you add too much, you're going to get like... I think I like the air can right here. And not too much white noise though. Uh, if you so want, you can actually turn up the unison. But um, it sounds kind of weird to me. Let's get some multi band compressor. So you hear with the white noise, like it has like a nice fuzzy texture. So you can use it in the background of like your bass music, like sustains and stuff like that. You can use this as like a little background texture. Uh, if you really wanted to get crazy, you can add like a combs filter if you want. But then you start to be getting into like aggressive sustain territory. Like you use a uh, comb filter. See, like now we're starting to get into like sort of aggressive sustained territory if you want to do that you can but if you're going for something like a more like background sustained to like using your backgrounds that's probably not something you want to do um so i'm going to tailor out some of this high end a little bit see how much of a difference that makes see it kind of makes the like the white it kind of makes it sound more gritty to me like just tailoring out the high end and it's pretty darn simple um to make sort of a, like a background sustain bass like this we're gonna turn some over there. see it still sounds fine i could still seeing myself use using that as like a little background sustain so yeah, you can use that sort of like as a low-end thing. I think you can even use something like this for like melodic dubstep as well to kind of bring out that low-end sort of thing. Kind of like that preset revolt be used on his Patreon that I saved, thank god. Actually, I copied it and I saved it because it would be super useful for melodic dubstep. But this is a type of bass you would use in like something like if you're like writing a sustain and it doesn't sound full enough to you, you just add this bass and then pretty much maybe tweak it if it doesn't still doesn't sound right but this is kind of a step in the right direction for like a nice little background sustain to kind of fill up some of that emptiness in your drop so yeah let's move on to the next sustain all right next is the wook sustain now this kind of correlates with my track breakdown of my song laser tech uh so pretty much um kind of the same formula how i made that sustain except we're making it in serum you could do the same thing in Vital if you have Vital. Uh, go watch that tutorial if you haven't, uh, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the whole Wook sustain thing. But this one consists of a really gritty bass or wavetable with uh, a high peak filter. So pretty much I have this wavetable called uh, I Can Has Kick, which um, is already getting into the right direction. And we have this high 12 peak filter. Oh, I have the sub turned up. So pretty much we're getting there with that whole, like, wook bass thing. This kind of sounds like, uh... The, the sustain used in, uh... Sploinky Dub by Subtronics. So typically, no hyperdimension. Let's use, uh, distortion and a compressor. pretty cool uh so what i also want to use is a disperser i can find it disperser so disperser is this amazing plugin here um i really love this plugin uh because you know it just makes things sound more lasery So as you can hear, we're kind of getting that whole, like, to make you do, like, the bass face. If you want, you can mess with, like, maybe a sync. 
Oh, yeah. That's Wook right there. I can see somebody using that uh, in an experimental bass track. Maybe tone it down on the distortion on the fat bass track a little bit. I could definitely see somebody using this on a Wook track. But yeah, it's very, very simple. Like, a lot of these sustains are actually pretty simple. Like, I, I see a bunch of these tutorials go like, Oh, you know, I, I overcomplicated this sustain. Oh, you gotta add all these effects. Uh, it's like, yeah, you can do that, but you don't need to, like, make your sustains overly complicated. Like, I literally, there's just distortion and compressor and just one wavetable and a peak filter and disperser. Hell, you can make a stock disperser, too. There's millions of videos on that as well, um, if you don't have disperser. And that's how you make the sustain to laser tech on uh, Serum as well. So Serum users, you can now make the laser tech sustain on... Uh, on serum as well so yeah that's pretty much the wook base I, I i'm probably gonna get a ton of comments going that's not wook dude that's not wook that's more experimental but honestly i could see you using this in a wook song if you wanted to um but i mean it's probably not a wook base you could correct me if i'm wrong let's just say this if you if if it's not a wook base to you let's call it an experimental base all right, on to the final sustain. Okay. Now we're going to get into crazy territory. We're going to be making an aggressive sustain. So pretty much, you can kind of guess where this sustain comes from. You can hear it in all the quarter note, cookie cutter, dubstep songs. You can hear it in Excision's music, Kai Wachi's music. Pretty much anybody who makes this sustain music, they, they probably, you've heard the sustain. Uh, but typically, uh, what I learned from uh, watching Clyptic streams... Uh, he was doing a, a thing where, you know, he was with Alien Park and Lays came on as well. And uh, Alien Park kind of taught some methods for sustains. So here's uh, one thing he used, which is basic shapes and the init saw. Oh, wait, no, you know what? Let's use the basic shape saw. Let's use the basic shape saw wave. So typically with, uh, with sustains, um, you need to get, like, a certain tone to make it a sustain so if i were to just play that you know that's not gonna make people headbang but let's do some fm all right we're, get, we're getting somewhere a little bit just a little bit Actually, you know what, now that I think about it, let's use... I'm, I still want to stay stock. Let's use... Uh... Scream. Actually, no, let's go back to basic shapes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Um... So typically, we're already getting somewhere. Uh, the real thing is the filter here. Uh, we're gonna choose high pass this time. High pass 12. We're kind of getting there with the sustain. Let's kind of turn the octave up a little bit and mess with the sync. So we're already getting there with like... There we go. We want there. Uh, let's do the... Let's do the uh, hyper dimension. Uh, some distortion. Uh, there we go, there we go. Okay, not, not, uh, not up an octave. That's the sound I wanted. Something like that. So, let's kind of tone down on this filter a little bit. Something like that sounds okay. Let's have, uh, a white noise. And 
and uh, let's do a compressor with gain. Kind of mess with the knobs a little bit. Um, maybe some uh, peak filters. And um, for filtering, you can use uh, the comb filters. But something that Odd Profit recommends is using all passes. I think that might still be doing combs. Yeah. Now we're getting into like really aggressive stuff. So yeah, typically, um, there's so many ways to make sustains like this. Like, this is just not even scratching the surface on different sustains. So let me show you some presets that I've made uh, with sustain stuff. Okay, so there's this one that I learned off of uh, Ray Volpe's Patreon. This thing right here. So this sustain, uh, pretty much using, I think, stock wavetables. I think FM FM is stock. No, it's in, uh, I just picked a random wavetable. Okay, uh, so, uh, you could use any wavetable, it doesn't matter. Um, typically the sustain is using the same method as I just showed you, except we don't have filtering. So you don't even need filtering to make a sustain. Like, I don't know why I always think I have to have the filter turned on, like, to make a sustain. I just, that, that's just a force of habit thing. But... Pretty much the sustain, we have um, a noise oscillator. Uh, there's only one LFO. Kind of modulating the noise oscillator really fast. And then we have a sync knob on the Juno wavetable. Uh, with a sub oscillator, but it's turned off. Uh, distortion, compressor, and EQ. Although the EQ is turned on, but I'm not using it. Very, very simple sustain. Super, super simple. Um... So pretty much this sustain, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much simple. <laughs> Not really too much more I can say on it. Okay, now this sustain has a little bit of flow to it. It kind of has a bit of like, rah, 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 like, but, uh, this one is using Monster 5 and the default saw wavetable. Pretty much the only thing that's modulating is the high notch 12 and the frequency. We're doing a little bit of FM from B. Uh, distortion, um, distortion tube. Wait a second, I already showed the sustain in my last video. <laughs> but I'm showing it to you again. Uh, so we got some phaser, compressor, EQ, uh, co reverb filter, pretty much the same as the last video. <laughs> Except in the last video, I tweaked the knob and the same st 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 sustain sounded completely different. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it with sustains. Uh, I'm sorry if this video wasn't the most informative, but honestly, I, I tried my best to teach you guys all about sustains because I'm still learning with sustains and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I mean, at least I showed you the presets, unlike some YouTubers that go, here's how to make a sustain. First, you gotta buy my overpriced sample pack. Yeah, that's why I do these videos too, because... I'm so sick of those gatekeepy tutorials that say how to sound like Alien Park, but uh, it's just a sample pack ad. That's literally all it is. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.